You run out the door, coffee in hand, papers spilling out of your purse, stockings slipping down your calf, rushing to put on your kitten heels. You make your way down the street like you're the hottest person in the world. You don a tight-fitting blouse, a pencil skirt, along with your go-to reading glasses. You're every boss's dream, eye candy for the entire office, all while being at the top of your field. You got it all. A great job, a big city apartment, and you're the best looking person at the office. You excel in your career while maintaining a playful, flirty fashion style. You fall asleep at your home office, you walk to work to get your steps in, you live off black coffee, and you look great doing it. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dion and today we are going to be covering the Office Siren Librarian Core Geek Chic Aesthetic. These are my boyfriend's glasses. They are prescription, so I won't be wearing them for the whole video because I will legitimately feel sick if I do that. But wanted to wear them for the thumbnail and for the intro. I wanted to do this aesthetic because I feel like since like 2020, aesthetics have really started to slow down. Like we just don't get as many anymore, which is good. Like trend cycle slowing down everything. Okay, I'm getting dizzy. But for me, it's kind of difficult since I do all my videos on aesthetics. And I feel like this is the first one that's like come out in a while that's quite solid. So I wanted to sort of cover it. I waited a while just to see how it manifested itself, but I feel like it's pretty, pretty solid as an aesthetic now. So I felt comfortable covering it. Modern Girls also did a video on the geek chic aesthetic. If you want to know sort of the history of nerdy, dorky, geeky style and how we've gotten here, go check that out. It's awesome. In this video, we're just going to mainly talk about the crux of the aesthetic, not so much like the history and stuff of it. So if you like niche fashion aesthetics and fashion commentary in general, then definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel because I post videos every Thursday. And with that, let's get into it. All right, so let's go through the breakdown of like the office siren librarian core aesthetic it's not as vintage and brown and slouchy as let's say dark academia where it's about like oversized and comfy and whatever this is a lot more sleek modern tight short skin showing or whatever less old library more fast-paced office a lot of the, the styles do have overlap but you can see like it's this is definitely not like academia style it's a lot more like sleek and tailored and everything the colors of the office siren aesthetic are gray so much so 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 much gray which is it, to be fair, very, very corporate. And that's what a lot of the colors are for the office siren aesthetic. Lots of white, cream, ivory, obviously black, some navy and browns, you know, some browns from like plaid and stuff like that, but mostly like black, white, gray. I feel like I see the most in this aesthetic. And then pops of like a deep cherry red, either in your shoe, your eyeglasses, your purse, something. But yeah, pops of deep cherry red to drive home like the siren, sexy, flirty aspect to it. Icons of the office siren aesthetic are Bella Hadid. She has been at the top of every aesthetic for a while, but this is definitely, I feel like the Miu Miu glasses thing, she's definitely like started that trend. Giselle Bunchen, especially from The Devil Wears Prada, lots of like 2000s movies and 2000s eyewear ads with like Kate Moss or Angelina Jolie. Bayonetta, which is a video game character who also has those glasses. Designers that really encapsulate this aesthetic are Drift Avenue. They do a lot of like corporate looks that are kind of modern and sleek. Prada also does a lot of these looks, but the reigning designer of the Office Siren Librarian Court aesthetic is Miu Miu. That's the designer that you're gonna see the most in this aesthetic. Miu Miu shoes, Miu Miu purses, Miu Miu skirts. Miu Miu, especially in the most recent collection for fall winter, they did a whole line of like fashion interns as on their runway. I feel like that was a huge catalyst for this like office corporate girl aesthetic because everyone wants to be a Miu Miu girl and it's like short and frazzled. It's sort of frazzled English woman. It's sort of academia. And then it's like sleeker and tighter than both of those things. But Miu Miu is definitely like the biggest, I feel like designer muse when it comes to this aesthetic. The occupation of the office siren are a librarian, secretary, journalist, lawyer, finance, HR, just corporate, corporate girly things. I don't, I don't have a corporate job, so I don't know what corporate jobs are. 
The essentials of the office siren aesthetic are pencil skirts, lots and lots of pencil skirts, button downs, suits, suit sets, khakis, pleated skirts, trench coats, leather blazers, wide leg trousers, knee length skirts, a lot of midi skirts, and then also micro minis. So it's either like a pencil skirt or like a midi skirt, kind of like nerdy, matronly, dorky librarian vibes, or like a micro mini Mimu skirt. Lots of cardigans and some plaid. For shoes, I most often see loafers, kitten heels, and tall boots. And for accessories, lots, I mean, glasses is the biggest thing. It's usually the wire Mew Mew glasses. This is what I got because they're my boyfriend's. Pointed glasses, but glasses are absolute must. Lots of socks and shoes, knee socks, stockings, ties, briefcases, totes, and then like underarm little shoulder bags. Like I always do, I do some criticisms of this aesthetic and uh, I'm not gonna super go over like, it's so skinny and white. I know I say that for every aesthetic, especially like Bella Hadid aesthetics. And there was some commentary on TikTok of like, is this a fit or is she just skinny? Like in terms of this style, like is this actually a cute outfit or is it just like on a model's body? And that's why we think is cute. So that's definitely like one big side of it. One could definitely argue like, I don't know, women were sexualized so much in the workplace. If you think about like the 80s and how they had to dress like very masculine and really tone down, like if you think second wave feminism, tone down their makeup, tone down their hair, almost like masculinize themselves in the workplace to be taken seriously because women were newer in the workplace, especially in these finance high powered like lawyer jobs. So I could see how someone who may have like gone through that looks at like the sexy siren and is like, really like we already get sexualized and now we're like purposely doing it but zooming out a little bit i think this is mostly just for fashion i don't think we're recommending corporate girlies to actually dress like this because if you do work in corporate or whatever usually the dress codes are pretty lame and they don't let you have too too much fun with it so those are you know the first two criticisms i have i want to make a quick note because paloma Alessia just won model of the year um, as the first plus size model to do so. She went viral for this Mew Mew ad on ID Magazine, this Mew Mew cover. And one of the reasons why I went viral, A, it's a slay. They didn't actually make the skirt for plus size consumers, which I think really shows a lot of like badness in designers in general. But my main criticisms with this is a, the color palette. I, I mean, like, I get it. It's like corporate, it's neutrals. If you're, if you like neutrals, then I think this is a great aesthetic. I really don't like the color gray that much. I know I have this gray top on right now, but it's like quite, I don't know. I, I just wish it was more colorful. Like for the aesthetic, I feel like I, I would get really tired of wearing like this look because it's so um, black, white, gray with a little pop of cherry red or anything. So I found that color palette to be a little bit boring, but I also don't like neutrals. So like that's to each their own. And then this is something that Modern Girls touched on is like part of the aesthetic is like adding in purposefully dorky or ugly things. So like the little glasses that, you know, people made fun of when we were in middle school and now Mew Mew does it. Or socks with shoes, like socks with heels. Like that's purposely ugly or dorky, but in this case, it's adding a stylistic purpose. And that is something I actually do like. Like I like that it's purposely a little ugly and dorky and that a little bit submersive, just so it is not just like basic sexy secretary look. Cause I feel like that's very easy, but to, amplify it to like a chic level you need something like a little bit ugly a little bit different a little bit whatever to undercut it so i love like the socks and shoes aspect of it and like the glasses and i like that it's sort of like embracing dorkiness a little bit nerdiness on on purpose in this aesthetic rather than just going straight to sexy so yeah i mean there's not like a ton so far there's not like a ton of criticisms Obviously like the, the internet algorithm is always gonna push certain body types, which is difficult, but that's a criticism on internet culture in general, not so much this aesthetic, but I think it's kind of cute. So finally, let us get into the look. First and foremost, you gotta get glasses. Get yourself a pair of glasses. Get yourself, 
your old glasses, your whatever. Glasses are a big, big accessory in this, uh, this aesthetic. And then this aesthetic is mixing sexy with corporate. So I call it like high, low fashion or something like that. So loose pants with like a tight, low cut top or a midi skirt with like a tight little sweater or shirt or a micro mini with an oversized top. So playing with those balances, if it is loose on the bottom, tight on the top, if it's tight and short on the bottom, loose and oversized on the top to just have some balance in your outfit. I think it's important to do a shoe and stocking combo or a shoe and sock combo, either with loafers or with kitten heels. Obviously, if you're wearing tall boots, you would do like tights rather than stockings or socks, but I feel like having yeah, some sort of hosiery is important to this aesthetic. I feel like it drives home the corporate aspect of it. And then you wanna add either like a corporate tote slash briefcase or some sort of like batty little shoulder bag. I feel like that's those are the two categories. You either have like full business, like cool briefcase looking thing or cool little like tote bag and with papers and laptops flying out of it or you have like a chic little like cherry red shoulder bag, little under armpit bag is what I call it. And then you wanna finish the look with like a belt, a scarf, and then whatever outerwear you're gonna do, whether that's a blazer, a trench coat, a leather jacket, but you wanna like, I think belts and like little accessories are pretty important to this aesthetic lots of like belts with like the Miu Miu skirts or a little skinny scarf. Those like very like 2000s accessories just to like amplify it and take it to more of a fashion-y level rather than just plain corporate. Cause I feel like you want to draw that distinction. And I feel like the hair for this is very much like claw clip, bun, ponytail, slicked back, maybe like bangs with like frazzled hair. But I feel like it's like, I'm corporate. I'm going to have my hair back. That way when the Hawkeye at the office is like, you did such a good job. And you know, if if you just took your glasses off and let down your hair, all of a sudden you're pornographically hot. <laughs> you know, that kind of vibe. And in terms of thrifting this aesthetic, because it's so stuck in like the 2000s, this is very easy to go like straight into the business women's wear area of like thrift stores. And that's where I got this vest. That's where I got my gray pants that I'm wearing. Like you can get, very businessy things there that are of this era, like low rise, flared, that's what these pants are. Like you could really go for that energy for very inexpensive, little cardigans, little tops, that kind of thing. If you're very into this aesthetic, investing in a couple of like very chic pieces to take it from corporate to fashion. So like a designer bag or designer like kitten heels from, I usually would go for Vestier Collective just to get like the little like either Prada or Miu Miu kitten heels or like a cute little tote bag or shoulder bag or something. But taking the geeky outfit and adding a couple of like really chic designer pieces on top of it, I feel like really transforms the whole look. Obviously, if you just wanna try out this aesthetic, don't feel the need to buy like designer things or whatever. Just getting plain old little kitten heels in a bag, like you can fake it till you make it if you just wanna try out this aesthetic by thrifting those things, or I'm sure your mom has kitten heels. I'm sure there was a tote bag or a little shoulder bag in your closet somewhere. Like it's pretty, this is a pretty basic aesthetic, especially color palette wise and elemental, like elementally. But I do think really to take it to like the next, next level, having like just a couple, like three designer pieces on you, like glasses, bag, and shoes. If you just have those and then everything else is that geek chic, thrifted, whatever, beautiful. Alrighty. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, definitely give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel. And let me know down below what other aesthetics you'd like me to cover this winter or just like winter videos in general. I feel like winter is where I get the most like stunted for fashion inspiration. At the end of December, I want to do like a 2023 like superlative video where it's like the best of my closet or like what were, what were my most worn shoes? What was my biggest thrift regret? What was the most expensive purchase of 2023? So if you have questions like those, leave them down below as well so I can answer them in that video. It will probably be one of the last videos in December. But yeah, a little like closet, wrap up 2023 thrifting questions. Yeah, leave them down below, that'll be fun. 
Also follow me on TikTok and Instagram because I post content there more often and subscribe to my channel because I post videos every Thursday. And with that, have a happy, happy day. Bye.